The Breaking Bad spin-off movie El Camino is about to premiere, so if you don't have time to rewatch the entirety of Breaking Bad to refresh your memory, don't worry, we've got you covered. This is a Breaking Bad full series recap that should fill you in on everything you need to know. Because El Camino is centered on the Jesse Pinkman character, this recap will focus mainly on what happened to Jesse throughout Breaking Bad, but will still hit the pivotal moments for all of your favorite characters. Breaking Bad begins with the high school chemistry teacher Walter White learning that he has inoperable lung cancer. Looking for a way to provide for his family financially after his passing, Walt is inspired to try his hand at cooking meth after learning about it from his DEA brother-in-law, Hank. Hank is currently trying to track down an infamous meth cook known as Captain Cook, and it turns out that the captain is none other than Walter White's former student, Jesse Pinkman. Walt and Jesse enter into a business partnership that would have Walt overseeing the meth production, while Jesse used his dealer connections to sell their product. And that product, dubbed Blue Sky, becomes highly popular due to its 99.1% chemically pure properties. They do their meth cooking in an RV purchased from a man named Old Joe. But things go wrong pretty immediately when a deal gone wrong forces Walt to reluctantly kill drug dealers Emilio and Crazy 8 and gets Jesse to help him dissolve their bodies in hydrofluoric acid. The traumatic event causes Walt and Jesse to briefly go their separate ways, but after getting kicked out of his parents' house and failing to recreate the perfect blue sky formula with his friends Badger and Skinny Pete, Jesse returns to Walt. Walt, still needing the money for his family after his eventual death, agrees to reform their partnership. From here, their meth empire begins to blow up, quickly dominating the Albuquerque drug scene. This puts Blue Sky on Hank and the DEA's radar. Jesse and Walt, now using the alias Heisenberg, partner up with a ruthless Mexican drug lord named Tuco to help with their distribution. As the DEA closes in on Tuco, he grows more paranoid and poses a violent threat to Walt and Jesse. The pair manage to escape Tuco's grasp, and the kingpin is killed by Hank and the DEA. After this incident, Jesse falls on hard times, but manages to start putting his life back together. He moves into a new duplex and begins a relationship with his neighbor Jane, a recovering addict. After Jesse's drug dealing friend Combo is shot and killed, he turns to a newly relapsed Jane who introduces him to heroin. Walt and Jesse's criminal lawyer, Saul Goodman, put them in contact with a new potential distributor. Gus Spring. Jesse nearly ruins the new business partnership by showing up to their first meeting high on heroin, but Walt manages to close the deal. After being paid by Gus, Walt decides to withhold Jesse's half of the money until Jesse checks himself into rehab and gets clean. Jane blackmails Walt into giving Jesse his cut of the money, but when Walt finds an overdosing Jane choking on her own vomit, he decides to watch and let her die. Jesse, unaware of Walt's presence at the time of Jane's death, blames himself and is emotionally destroyed. Walt uses this opportunity to check Jesse into rehab. Jesse emerges from rehab clean and sober, meanwhile Walt agrees to cook his meth for Gus in the Kingpin's underground super lab. Walt's new assistant is a man installed by Gus named Gail Bedecker. Eventually, Walt convinces Gus to fire Gail so he could bring Jesse back into the fold. The only problem is, Jesse begins acting more and more erratic. Things go from bad to worse when Jesse discovers that the people responsible for his friend Combo's death were dealers working for Gus. Walt and Gus work together to try to talk Jesse down, but he drives to the dealers gun drawn to confront them. Walt arrives at the scene, kills the dealers, and tells Jesse to run. This obviously infuriates Gus, who reinstates Gail as Walt's assistant and sends men to hunt Jesse down. Walt begins to suspect that once Gail perfects Walt's blue sky recipe, he and Jesse will be disposable to Gus. So as Gus's muscle Mike brings Walt in to face certain death, he assures Gus he'd better hold off because at that moment Jesse is murdering poor Gail Bedecker, ensuring Walt and Jesse were the only people who could deliver the perfect blue sky product. Walt and Jesse go back to work for Gus, but both are traumatized and scared of their current situation. To make matters worse, Hank is looking into Gail's murder, which could incriminate Walt and Jesse. As Walt tries to scheme a way to take out Gus, Jesse spends his time partying and doing drugs, trying to numb himself of his feelings over murdering Gail. Walt tries to pressure Jesse into poisoning Gus with ricin, but Jesse can't bring himself to do it. When Gus begins to feel the heat from a rival cartel led by Hector Salamanca, he turns to Jesse to help him produce more Blue Sky. Jesse asks Walt for help in recreating Blue Sky in an effort to prevent an all-out cartel war and his possible death, but Walt accuses Jesse of conspiring with Gus to kill him. This leads to a huge fight between the two former partners. Jesse travels with Gus and Mike to Mexico to meet with the rival cartel, where Gus poisons them all. Walt is left feeling out of the loop and grows more concerned that Gus will have him killed if he's expendable. When Walt turns to Jesse for help, Jesse rejects him. Gus has Walt taken into the middle of the desert where he is fired and threatened. 
Gus is going to have Hank killed, and if Walt tries to intervene, then Gus will turn his sights on Walt's family. Walt goes to his criminal lawyer, Saul, who puts him in touch with a disappearer, who for a large sum of money can safely relocate Walt and his family and get them new identities. Walt agrees to pay the disappearer, then makes sure to alert the DEA of the threat on Hank's life. When Walt goes to retrieve the money needed to pay the disappearer, he discovers that his wife, Skylar, had already given the money away. Knowing that Hank and the DEA had been tipped off by Walt, Gus was now going to come after Walt's family. Knowing he was out of options with nothing to lose, Walt once again turns his focus to killing Gus. Walt leases Brock, the son of Jesse's girlfriend Andrea, with enough poison to hospitalize him. Walt convinces Jesse it was Gus's doing to further turn them against each other. Jesse believes Walt and agrees to help take Gus down. They devise a plan to use Gus's rival, the ailing Hector Salamanca, to kill Gus once and for all. When Gus visits Hector to kill him, Hector turns the table on Gus and blows them both up using a bomb that Walt had rigged to Hector's wheelchair. Following Gus's death, Walt and Jesse enter a new partnership with Mike. The three men are assisted by one of Gus's former contacts, Lydia. The team begins cooking meth under the guise of a pest control company they bought from a man named Ira. The DEA learn of former Gus employees that are currently incarcerated. Walt and Lydia are worried the prisoners will talk and incriminate them, so they want to have the prisoners killed. Mike pushes back on this idea and instead wants to use money from their new meth operation to give to the prisoners to silence them. The entire meth operation is derailed when the team runs out of the vital ingredient, methylamine. So Walt, Jesse, and Mike, and new team member Todd, stage a train heist to steal methylamine. The heist is almost undone when a young boy witnesses them, but Todd coldly kills the boy to avoid being caught. This is something that greatly disturbs Jesse. More disturbing to Jesse? how little it seems to disturb Walt. So Jesse and Mike decide they want out and will just sell off their share of the methylamine to deep-pocketed meth distributor Declan. Walt undercuts them and comes to his own agreement with Declan, though he does come up with a severance for Mike. But not all is good for Mike, as he still refuses to give up the names of Gus's former employees. In a fit of rage, Walt murders Mike and ends up getting the names from Lydia. Walt hires Todd's white supremacist leader, Uncle Jack, to take care of the prisoners, while striking a new overseas distribution deal with Lydia that nets him an insane amount of money. Walt delivers Jesse his cut of the money and finally decides to retire to focus on his family. Except, Hank finally makes the startling connection that Walter White is, in fact, Heisenberg. Jesse has once again become emotionally closed off and distraught following all of the series' previous events, and even suspects Walt had a hand in Mike's death. Feeling guilty and unworthy of the money, he begins giving it away, which puts him on the DEA's radar. Jesse partners up with Hank and his DEA partner Gomez to bring down Walt. Meanwhile, Walt agrees to help teach Todd how to cook Blue Sky for Lydia's new operation in exchange for Uncle Jack's help in killing Jesse. Jesse, Hank, and Gomez trick Walt into leading them to his stash of money in the middle of the desert, which is crucial evidence that Hank will need in putting Walt away. Knowing he's been lured into a trap, Walt calls for the help of Uncle Jack's white supremacist gang. Upon realizing it's just Jesse, Hank, and Gomez, he tells Jack to stand down and accepts his fate. Walt is arrested, but Jack and his gang show up anyway and oh, open fire, despite Walt's pleas for them not to. Gomez and Hank are killed, Jack and his gang take Walt's money, and they take Jesse prisoner, forcing him to cook Blue Sky for them. When Jesse tries to escape, Todd kills Andrea and threatens to kill Brock next if Jesse doesn't do what they say. Walt leaves town via the disappearer and several months pass. His cancer is getting worse and his family wants nothing to do with him. After learning that Blue Sky is still being manufactured and distributed, Walt decides to return to Albuquerque to put an end to everything. Walt pays a visit to Lydia, where he secretly poisons her with ricin. At night, he arrives at the white supremacist compound, his car containing a device he had rigged up earlier. Walt accuses Jack of partnering with Jesse to make Blue Sky, but Jack reveals a dirty and scarred Jesse has been a slave this entire time, forced to produce Blue Sky for Lydia and the white supremacist. Walt feigns anger and tackles Jesse to the ground, then triggers the device in his car, a mounted M60 machine gun which opens fire on the neo-Nazis. Jack and Walt are struck by bullets, but Todd and Jesse are unscathed. Jesse manages to strangle Todd to death, and Walt shoots Jack dead. As the series comes to a close, Walt and Jesse part ways for a final time, with Walt staying behind and succumbing to his bullet wounds while Jesse drives away, laughing and crying hysterically. But what is going to happen to Jesse Pinkman next? We'll have to watch El Camino to find out. Let us know your favorite Breaking Bad moments in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, hitting those like and subscribe buttons would be greatly appreciated. See ya in the next one.